All right, this is going to be a demonstration of how to do a hot change over and build a three to one mechanical advantage. All right, of course, I'm doing this without gloves, but if you were on belay, you would have to have gloves on. All right, so this would be simulating I've got a rescue load. Notice I'm racked in on three horns right now, and that's my load down there. The rope is back coiled to my left. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply all the horns and then I'm going to put my lock off with my two half hitches. Okay. Alright. Now the load is secured, I can leave this position and start building my mechanical advantage. The first step of that is I need to I need to do my long short Prusik and I'm also going to need another Prusik for the end of my MA. If you've got a helper this would be a good time for them to be able to help you do all this but I'm doing it on my own so I'll just have to do it quickly. So once, twice, three times. Okay, pull the sock out. And okay, there's my short. And there's my long. Okay. And then I get into my pulleys. All right. And the lathe is out right here. And I'll need this down here. Okay. All right. Now this is a key step, guys. At this point, we're gonna we're gonna build our long short PMP. And you notice that my back coil this is this direction. But I'm gonna start building on this direction. I apply this, and okay. And I build it here, long, short, P and P, okay? Once I've done that, I'm going to set my Prusiks, and at this time, I'm going to put the load into these Prusiks off of my scarab. All right, the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to Notify my barrelman that prepare for a slight lower, and I'm going to release my brake, and then slowly take the tension off of this and watch my Prusix. When I see that the load is catching on my Prusix by their deformity, then I know that I can completely break it down and continue. Now, we don't have any load on this, so that's kind of hard to simulate. But let's just assume that's the case. And I can take this completely out and put that to the side. Now I'm going to build my 3 to 1 MA. Now, the way I like to do this is I like to lay out my pulleys to begin with, it, depending on what I'm going to use. If all I was going to build was a 3 to 1 with no change of direction, then all I would need is this bottom pulley. And you can build it like a Z for the three to one. So I just come down here and that's all I'd need. Now, an alternate method is, and this is the way I like to do it, is to go around on this. And the reason I do that is because if this is off the ground, this will rotate down and my direction of pull will be up on the top of the pulley and it'll keep it cleaner, okay? And that's really all I need. I'm going to put my other Prusik on and we can build the rest of that system. You can see it. Okay. There we go. Okay. And put this on. And there's your three to one. Okay, 
That's all there is to it.